Hi, in this video, I will brief you about what's inside the cell. We can call as a construction of the cell. So as we discussed in the previous video that we have different formats of the cells. So here is the largely commercially available 8650, right? And then we have 21700 and then we have 32700 as well. So when we say 18650, so if you see, this is the height of the cell and this is what is inside the cell as well. And this is 21700, you could see and fit there that that's 21700. And then you have uh, 32700 as well. That's basically what's inside the cell. So uh, typical cylindrical cells are the cells that are made with a approach of doing a jelly roll, okay? So let's come and look a little close by on what's actually inside the cell. So let's start with this one, which you see here typically any cell as an anode, and then it has separator and it has a cathode, all right? So typically the anode is acts as a negative electrode and uh, on the cathode, which you take as a positive electrode. So each of these uh, sides of the electrodes has, one is called active materials, other one is called current collector. So the current collector is the one which actually collects the electrons and gives the pathway for the electrons to go out, all right? And then we have the active material. Active material is the one that sits on top of it, which actually engages in the electrochemical reaction. So when we see on the anode side, we typically use graphite and also can be used as a graphene as well. So that's been the largely available uh, in a active material on the anode. And then we have the separator that, that typically is actually kind of a barrier that we should not let the cathode to touch an anode as. So when we see and on the cathode side, that cathode is typically the positive electrode and we use aluminum as a current collector. And on top of aluminum, we do deposition of the different materials. So that's where your chemistry lies. When I say LFP, basically the combination of those materials that has been used for the LFP will be actually pasted here, all right? And then if you take an example of NMC or NCA, so that's what sits on top of your cathode material. And the, typically the chemistry of the lithium ion cell defined based on what is actually there on your cathode material. So if your cathode has active material that is NMC, we call it an NMC cell. If your cathode material is LFP, then we, we say this is an uh, LFP cell. So that's what constitutes a form uh, cell. The cell as I would say to rephrase it, an anode that is your uh, current collector is copper and an active material is graphite or graphene. And then you have cathode and your aluminum as a current collector. Then on top of the aluminum, you have the active materials that is uh, you know, uh, NCA or LFP or other combinations as well. Then we have a separator that separates your anode and cathode. So now let's see what is actually happening inside, right? So what is the intention is as we go larger in terms of the sizes, right? If you say 18650, can store, let's say, about 2 AH ampere, then maybe NMC can store about 5 AH, right? And then 26650, uh, that is, 26650 can slightly store about uh, 5,000 mAh or 5,500 mAh, but this can store slightly larger, that's about 6,000 mAh, right? This also depends upon what kind of chemistry you're using, because the amount of capacity that you can store largely depends upon your active material and the capacity, you know, ability of your active material to store the energy as well. So well, let's talk about the 18650. If you see the length of the cell, uh, this is quite small in size, but then you go to the 26650, right? This cell has slightly the longer length for your active material, all right? That's how you're trying to store more amount of it, you know, um, capacity inside the cell. Now, if you go to the 36650, right? The 36650 has just gone far more length than one of our board here, and it has come till here. So this is the length of the 32600, or 32700, and then this is the length of a 21700, and then that is the length of the 18650. So what do you see largely here? That the length increases, that means your active material will also increase, the active materials means your graphite or your, you know, the cathode active materials will increase. That means more active materials, more amount of energy you can store, capacity you can store inside a cell, all right? That's, that's a bit about what is there. 
And then if you come close by, and I'll just show you some other components. So as I say, the copper and aluminum acts as your current collector, that means it collects your electrons, and then that they will allow the electrons to flow, flow via an outside path as a load. And if you see here, these are the tabs. These tabs, sometimes we have a design called tabless design and tab-based design. The tabless design is the one which doesn't have these kind of a tabs. The, with the tab is basically, you know, you, you have a current collector which is of this long length, right? You can't just current the collect only at the, the current the collect the electrons only at the one point. So you, you're trying to design uh, different positions for these tabs. So the electrons from here will flow from here to here and they will go out of this tab, basically the tab to a positive terminal, okay? And then the same way uh, here uh, on any of the anode as well, that if you see these tabs and they come and connect to your negative terminals, that's your, the other side of the cell. So this is the way how cell looks like. And we also have the, uh, the end caps for the cell. Basically what you see here in the positive terminal, you have certain insulating um, you know, components, then you have certain conductive components, so that is what is basically displayed here as a part of uh, the image which has been displayed here. So that's the, that's the basic idea on what's actually inside the cell. So I will just in the brief also, uh, in the next video, I will also brief you about the, the way the cells are currently formed uh, to create this uh, specific dimensional patterns as well.